All right, you guys, welcome to class. I apologize, I'm a little late. I uh, got uh, got out of my last class a um, uh, little uh, little late. We had some uh, good questions that we were going over. Um, anyway, uh, this class is a uh, a TOEFL preparation class. We'll be working on our speaking skills, uh, mainly working on part. Parts one and two of the TOEFL speaking test. Okay, uh, if you have never never uh, answered these type of questions before in a uh, in in this sort of setting, um, it is a timed test. There is a structure that needs to be followed when answering the the questions. Okay, and we look at uh, pronunciation, grammar, as well as the uh, the whole package and how you are answering the question. Okay, the uh, link to the questions we are going to be looking at. Okay, are uh, in the chat boxes right now. Okay, so go ahead and open that up when you get a second. Very good. Uh, let's see who we have in class. Uh, hi, Sarata, welcome. Hello. Hi there. Uh, we also have uh, uh, Mohd. Or is it? Would this be Mohammed? Okay, uh, and how about Amparo? Hi there, Amparo. Welcome back. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing okay. I'm crossing <laughs> my fingers that my internet stays the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. And no, it's there's no clouds in the sky at all. It's just been been crazy. Uh, yeah, I, I called. Uh, I called and talked to the guys, and uh, they fixed some things, and everything was working okay until about. Two minutes right before class, and the electricity went zoop, and then went right back on. I was like, oh, "Gotta be kidding me!" So I think it was that uh, it was a, an internet issue, and then the electricity just kind of was the kicker, and it just made everything worse. So, yeah. Welcome to Central America. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, Arif, Arif, how are you? Okay, let's try Mohammed one more time. No one is Hi, um, and now is your name Mod or is it uh, Mohammed? Just shortened. Hello? Nope, no one? Okay. And let's try Arif one more time. Alrighty, okay. Let's, uh, uh, Arif, Hello? your microphone. Hello. Hi there. Hi. Can you hear me? I, I can hear you. Uh, excellent. Am I pronouncing your name correctly? Is it uh, Adi? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Um, is your name is your Hi. name pronounced Arif or is it uh, Arif? Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, check your Hello. check your microphone settings. Hello. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> I can't have it. Uh, okay. Let's uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, and continue, you guys. Okay, um, let's go to page uh, page number. Let's see here. Okay, let's go to the bottom of page five. So unique effects on society, right? And uh, we're going to start off with Sarata. Yes. Sarata, we're going to look at number 13, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and read number 13, please. Do you agree or disagree with uh, the following statement? Modern technology is creating a single world culture. Use specific reasons and examples to support your opinion. Uh, okay. All right, so, uh, Sarata, have you answered TOEFL questions before? Yes. Okay, great. So you'll have 15 seconds to prepare. Here we go. Okay, ready? Not yet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but I can try. <laughs> I'm, right. not ready. I'm not understanding the question like the more uh, single word picture. Okay, well let's uh, let's uh, let's do that because I want I want you to be able to practice giving good yeah. answers. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So, 
Um, so which part uh, do you not understand? The single world culture. Okay, single world culture. So for example, um, uh, in the United States, there is a different culture, okay, different way that we live, um, different things we do versus Mexico, for example, or even versus England. Okay, so that that might be uh, that might be a little better. Okay, so mm -hmm. the different cultures, even though we speak the same language, we come from the same country. Okay, uh -huh. uh, we have a different culture. Now, what they're talking about is single world culture, are things that unite everybody together. So it doesn't mm -hmm. matter okay. where you're from. Uh -huh. Okay, so everybody an example would be like, it would an example would be like, Facebook, right, yeah. uh -huh. or Verbling. Right? It yeah. doesn't matter where you're from. Okay, we can all come on here and we are the same because we have internet and we have a computer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's that's what it's getting at. Okay. So let me uh, let me do this one more time. Okay. Okay. So you have 15 seconds to prepare. Here we go. Okay, ready? Yes. Go ahead. I think the modern technology is creating a single world is is true because uh, it's um, it's a, the technology is uh, ruining it. Uh, it's trying to ruin it everybody. For example, if you take uh, like the Facebook, every Everybody meet together there, and they are uh, meet, uh, talking together, and uh, yeah, everybody meet together in Facebook, and how, um, even on uh, like uh, uh, how to say uh, on Skype, like people talking. About Okay. All right. Well, let's let's pause right here. Okay. Uh, no worries. No worries. Let's uh, let's take a look. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when when we answer um, um, these uh, these academic questions when you're taking uh, either TOEFL or TOEIC or IELTS, okay, there there's going to be a structure to how you how you answer the question. Okay. All yeah. right. You want to have an introduction, supporting statements, right? As well as a conclusion. Okay. Now, um, on the, in this question, you want to go straight to the question they're asking you. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? All right. Now, with agree and disagree, all you need to say is, "I agree that," and then uh, "I agree that modern technology is creating a single world culture," or "I disagree that modern technology is creating a single world culture." Okay, so uh, that that is your introduction. Okay, after that, you want to have some uh, at least two, two supporting statements. Okay, uh, it could be one is yeah Facebook. Okay, the other is Twitter, or you could say yeah. Skype. Okay, whatever you're talking about, but have uh, different reasons for mentioning them. Okay, uh, Facebook. Facebook it, it helps us to become a, a single world culture because uh, we we can meet up with people from all over the world, uh, discuss funny topics, interact with each other, and we're all the same because we have a computer and internet. Okay, same thing with with uh, Skype. Okay, with, but with Skype we can actually see each other and talk to each other, kind of like we're living in the same neighborhood. Okay, which is a little bit different than Facebook, right? Because we don't actually see each other; we can only see pictures. Okay, so have have supporting statements that uh, that uh, explain why you agree with it. Okay, and then in your conclusion, you're going to sort of restate what uh, what you said at the beginning. Okay, you want to be obvious that you are concluding, and you say, "These are the reasons why I believe." Okay, or these are the reasons why I agree. That modern uh, modern technology is creating a single world culture. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. 
Okay, very good. Very good. All right. Uh, excellent. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, now, Mohammed, are you there? Or oh, mode? No, yeah, is it? Here. It's it's pronounced mode, right? No, oh, I'm Zaki. He's not there. Muhammad. Mood? No, I'm Zaki. Uh, Alzaki. Uh, okay, Alzaki. Is that what you're saying? Mood Alzaki? Yes. Okay. Called. All right. Very good. Hi, Aida. How you doing? Okay. Hey, so. I'm, I'm sorry for the delay. It's okay. No worries. Um, all right. So, Mood. Uh, let's uh, let's take a look at number fourteen for you, okay? Okay. Uh, Go ahead and uh, and read this out loud, please. Is the ability is the ability to to read and write important today than in the past, or why why not? Use specific reason, example to support your example. Who you answer? Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's go to our stopwatch. Okay, so you have 15 seconds to prepare. Here we go. Okay. All right, ready? Okay. Okay. In my opinion, uh, in, a, uh, in the past, the, uh, in a, the past, is, uh, if someone don't uh, read, it's not uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, but uh, because uh, they are uh, they were uh, they are work, they were working in uh, uh, agricultural land like farmer. So, but if uh, but nowadays you can see a lot of uh, technologies are uh, available. If you want to use a computer, then you have to read and write. Then only you can use your uh, technology or whatever it. So I think uh, the in the past it's not too much uh, important than in modern generation you have to read. Those are the reasons I agree with that. Okay. All right. Very good. Nice job. Now. Um, your your structure was pretty good. You had an introduction, okay, some supporting statements, okay, and a and a conclusion. We were over time by just a little bit, by about six seconds, okay. But that can all that can all be modified. Now, uh, one one thing that I was struggling with is is understanding all of the words that you were saying, okay. So. Um, one uh, one of the uh, one of the sounds that uh, that uh, you'll need to work on is um, uh, let's see your R sound. So for example, one of the words you had was agriculture. I heard uh, I heard that part here. Okay, yes, so let's I try this word. Okay, I, go ahead. Agriculture. There you go. Good. Okay, so what I would suggest is maybe slowing down just a touch. Okay, and focusing in on on those words because you're able to pronounce the word agriculture just fine. Your R uh, sounds okay when you are thinking about it, but when you're speaking, you're saying agriculture, right? And your R's are are hitting the top of your your mouth. Your tongue is hitting the top of your mouth. Okay, okay. so um, another another phrase here. Okay, is um, you can see a lot of technologies is what you said. Yes. Okay, now here instead of saying you can see a lot of technologies, okay, uh, we would say you can see a, a lot of different, um, uh, let's see, a lot of different pieces of technology. Okay, uh, so pieces of technology. Now, technology. Um, some sometimes you'll hear people say say uh, uh, with these new technologies, okay. Uh, you do hear that sometimes, but it oftentimes sounds strange to me. I don't consider the word uh, to be countable, okay. So that's why I would say you can see a lot of different pieces of technology, okay, okay. Uh, that are out there, okay. Referring to the different uh, different machines and things like that, okay. Um, and 
last last one here. Let's work on the pronunciation of. So you're talking about if you uh, if you want to use a computer, you have to read and write. Let's work on the R's here, okay? So let's try this. You have to read and write. Try that. You have to read and write. Good, good. One more time. You have to read and write. You have to read and write. Okay, good. Now, uh, read was good. On write, you started to roll your tongue just a little bit. Okay, so uh, your vowel sounds are pretty good. Okay, but watch, uh, watch your tongue, your tongue placement for your R's as well as with your L sounds. Okay, okay. now um, in uh, Muhammad Aziz, uh, what, what was uh, what was your the second part of your name again? It's Mod. No, I, I'm Zaki. Zaki. Oh, Zaki. Oh. You're Zaki. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was. I I didn't. Uh, I didn't get that. I thought. Uh, yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't get that at all. Okay. So you're Zaki. Okay. So yeah, watch it. Uh, slow down. Focus on. Focus on your pronunciations. Okay. Uh, because I uh, I got sort of what you were saying, but the first part of your answer uh, I didn't understand too well. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, good. Let's go to. And, and welcome to class, Nudel. Good to have you here. Thank you, teacher. All right, very good. Uh, let's go to Amparo. So, Amparo, you say we're on 16, is that right? Yes. Okay. I figured, I thought, I went through there, I was like, I don't think we've done this one yet. And then we read the first one, and I was like, uh, yeah, we did that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, go ahead and uh, read number 16, Amparo. Oh, that already made it. 16 was already uh, made. Oh, we've already done that one, so we're on yeah. 17. Okay. The 21st century has begun. Um, what changes do you think this new century will bring? Use examples and details in your answer. All right. 15 seconds to prepare. Okay, ready? Okay. Go ahead. Uh, I think the new century uh, will bring us more technological advances. Um, there, uh, um, that we are going to get uh, more advances in, in medicine also. Uh, researchers are focused on find a, a, the cure for some illnesses. Um, but in the way that the technology and research contribute to, to, to improve people's life, I think that there are people that use them to create lethal weapons. So I hope the that the benefits that uh, offer us the new century are more than the the dangers that they offer us. Okay, give me one second. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's uh, let's take a look here. Okay, um, good uh, good structure. Okay, uh, you had uh, your opinion statement, I think, okay, and then you went into your answer, okay. You had your supporting statements. You had many different supporting statements or ideas. That I thought that was good. Um, and then your conclusion, uh, though we were uh, over by just a little, little bit of time, okay, uh, on the conclusion, but we'll go over that in just one second. Uh, I want to work on some pronunciations. First up, we have the word advances. Give me a good V sound, advances. Okay. Advances. Okay, very good. The next one is researchers. Okay, make sure to add the S there at the end. Researchers. Researchers. Okay, very good. Now, I uh, uh, you, uh, you said this, and then I forgot the two items that were there. You said the word contribute, um, but it needed to be um, contributes. Okay, right, let's see. Um... No, or am I thinking of it the other way? Hold on. Researchers in science contribute. No, I think I'm going crazy. 
Yeah, I wrote down I wrote down the word contribute because it sounded it sounded funny to me. But thinking about it, uh, you did say contribute, and you had the you had two items before those. So yeah, so that and that contribute. Never mind. Okay, I'm going crazy. To improve something like that. I think I, I said. Yeah, and for some reason I heard it and I went, ah, shouldn't that be contributes? But then thinking thinking back, I was like, oh, I forgot the two things. And I was like, okay, if it was two things, then it should be contribute. So anyway, uh, you're fine. Technology um, and research, I think. Yeah, technology and research contribute. Yeah, that's what it was. And I and I thought at the moment it should have been contributes, but I was wrong. I was typing and thinking at the same time. Um, so anyway, so that was that was my mistake. Um, uh, pronunciation wise, this one here is illnesses. Okay, give me a short I at the very beginning. Illnesses. 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 Okay, there you go. Good. Now, um, uh, in the end, uh, you said um, the benefits that offer us the new century. Uh, mm -hmm. Are more than okay, um, and this is uh, this was in your conclusion. Okay, I didn't write down the whole thing, but just uh, just a bit. So how could we fix this here? So uh, you said I so. I hope is, uh, I hope uh, would be. Okay, all right, but we have um, offer us the new century. Okay, so we need to switch some mm -hmm. order around there. Okay, I hope that the benefits that offer us the new century. Offer us. There you go. Good. Okay. So I hope that that the benefits the new century offers us, okay, are more than, okay, and then uh, uh, whatever you uh, had mentioned there at the at the very end. Okay. Mm -hmm. So okay. hope that the benefits. <clears throat> Uh, benefits the new century offers us okay mm -hmm. uh, are okay or the benefits yeah are more okay and then so switching that order okay um, now yeah with your with your conclusion okay uh, you added that that uh, that that last line in there. <coughs> And that that's kind of what threw you over time, okay? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, I would keep it as simple as simple as possible, okay? And you could just say it there at the tail end, even if you you end with five seconds left or so, okay? Uh, those are the changes that I believe are going to happen in the new century, uh, or uh, that's what I think will happen in in the new century or something like that, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, just keeping it nice and simple in your conclusion, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Very good. Thank you. Okay, let's go to number eighteen. This is for Ida. All right. Go ahead and read eighteen, please. Would you prefer to live in a traditional house or in a modern apartment building? Use specific reasons and details to support your choice. Okay. 15 seconds to prepare. Okay, ready? Yes. Go. I prefer to live in a traditional house than in an apartment because it's more convenient for me and I like the stylish of the traditional house because it's big and also it has two floors. For example, when I took my house, I can get for uh, a room for each child of my kids. On the other hand, the apartment is always very small and always it's uh, among with a bad neighborhood. I remember Three years ago, when I had the apartment, I didn't like it because it has a lot of bugs and the neighborhood was unclean at all. That's why I like to live in a traditional house. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. All right, very good. Now, yeah, I stopped it uh, a little bit uh, after, uh, but you were over maybe by about two seconds in in time, um, but not too bad. 
not too bad. Um, you had a, a pretty good structure with an introduction and your supporting statements and a conclusion at the at the tail end. Okay. Uh, now I do want to look at some grammar and pronunciations here. Okay. Uh, first up are two words I want to work on pronunciation with. Okay. The first one is apartment. Try that. Apartment. Apartment. Okay. Now with that a r. Okay. This is you're going to start off with an ah sound. Okay. It's r instead of a poor. Okay, so what you're saying is an O-R, you're saying a poor, a portment. Okay, instead of O-R, it's A-R, a par. So drop your jaw just a little bit more. A par, apartment. Apartment. There you go, good. One more time. Apartment. Apartment. Great, great. Uh, the next word here is convenience. Okay, so that E after the V is going to be a long E sound. Okay, convenience. Convenience. Okay. Now, also with the uh, with the word with the beginning of the word. Okay. The because the C O N is not receiving the stress. Okay. We actually pronounce it kun instead of convenience. It's kun convenience. Convenience. There you go. Good. Now this is a rule. Okay, it's a rule with the words uh, with words that start with uh, con or c o n is in Nancy and c o m as in mom. Okay, when they are not receiving the stress in the word, they are pronounced kun and cum. Okay, so we use the schwa sound there, and it's said quickly. Okay, uh, there are a couple of instances where the where um, words like comfort. Uh, let's see. No, that's at the beginning. Uh, there's another one. Uh, come. Dot com. Uh, uh, there was one that I ran into. I was like, oh, that breaks my rule. Thank you, English. Thank you, English, for breaking all the rules. Um, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Holy cow. Uh, so, uh, it, yes, uh, in most cases, but yes, it is a rule. In most words, if it does not receive the stress, okay? So, for example, another word is computer. I don't say com, computer. It's cum, computer. And I say it really quick. So when I say the word convenience, uh, I don't say convenience. It's kun, convenience. And I get right to that, that stressed, uh, stressed vowel. Okay, so let's try that again. Convenience. Convenience. Good, good. Nice job. Okay, now grammar. I apologize, you guys. Something, um, I've got dust or something like that that's happening. It's killing me. All right. Um, you said, I like the stylish of a traditional house. Yes. Okay. So instead the of saying style. stylish, yes, it's the style. Oh, yes. Okay. I like the style of a traditional house. Okay. Uh, the next one is... Um, in a house, uh, I can have a room for each child of my kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can say each room. Uh, sorry, each kid has his own room. Yep, each uh, each kid has his, has his own room. Okay, now <clears throat> I I would also be careful with the word uh, kid. Um, uh, I, I I like to use the word children. Okay, and this was a, this was something that my dad taught me. He's like he's like you know what, you guys really aren't my kids. It's it, because kids kids is sort of a a uh, not really street language or this is just how I was taught. You guys can use kids. Uh, we understand it, but whenever I uh, uh, whenever I hear it, if someone says yeah that's my kid over there, it always kind of makes me think of of this other thing, which uh, a kid is actually a baby goat. That's a that's where it comes from. And so my dad said, I, I'm not going to call you guys my kids or anything like that because that's what it's referring to. And so I try not to say that. Um, sometimes I do. I say I have, I have two kids or something like that. Sometimes it comes out. But um, uh, it, it can be used, but that's the, the, the real meaning of it. So if you were, if you were speaking here, um, I can have a, uh, each kid can have their own room. Okay, I would probably say child. Each, uh, each child could have their own room just for... Uh, the sake of, of this particular uh, um, 
mm -hmm. uh, test. Okay, I would use child instead of instead of kid or children instead of kids. Okay, uh, but yes, that's that's how you would say that um, instead of saying uh, a room for each child of my kids. Okay, um, the next one here is it's always among the bad neighborhood. Always. Yeah, among it's always bad. among the bad neighborhood. Or uh, neighborhood. Okay. Um, still, even at that, okay, uh, we would probably say it's always among a bad neighborhood instead of the. Okay. Or it's always in instead of among because among means that it's uh, within other neighborhoods. Okay. So you would probably say it's always in. It's always in a uh, a a bad neighborhood. Okay, that would be the best way to say that. Okay, and one last one for you is that you said it was uh, it was unclean at all. Okay, it was unclean at all. How could we how could we change that? Not clean. Yeah, it was not clean. Okay, it was not clean. Okay. All right, very good. Now, uh, again, your structure was was good. Okay, let's uh, let's work on uh, on some of the grammar issues and a little bit of pronunciation. Your pronunciation was was pretty good. We just had a, a couple of words that uh, that uh, could be fixed. Okay. Yeah, but I I have difficulty in the speaking more than the writing. If you would like me, I can correct it by writing. But while I'm speaking, I always made a little a lot of mistakes. How can I overcome that problem? Um, well, number one, obviously, uh, practicing. Okay, but this this is the thing: when you are uh, when you are practicing and you're trying to overcome something that you typically say, okay, you can't uh, you can't look at English and <clears throat> and think of it as um, as a, a, a huge huge thing like this. Like I've got to learn English, right? And it's huge. Okay, if you do that, you will fail. Okay. If you then take a look at it and go, I'm going to learn about articles. Okay, and you focus on the articles, and you forget about the others. So if someone mentions that, he's like, Yeah, uh, that's okay. Write that down. Keep it on your list. Okay, but this week or or for the next two weeks, I'm focusing on articles. And you're you're constantly thinking about that. You're studying about that, making sure that you're using them in the right in the right place until you get to a pretty proficient level with them. Okay. Um, then after that, focus on a different area. Okay. Or maybe try two things at a time. Okay. So that you're working on those things. All right. Because if you if you look at your list and you're like, oh man, I've got to do this and this and this and this and this and this. Uh, I'm never gonna do it. Okay. And y your mind goes on overload. Okay. But if you take one or two things and you go. And you move everything else out of the way. If someone mentions it, say, "I know, but it's on my I'll get to you later list." I'm working on these two things now. Okay, how am I doing with these two? Okay, and then focus on it that way. That's what I did when I was uh, when I was uh, learning a language. Okay, and that helped me out. Okay, if I could just clear things out of the way and then uh, not um, uh, not worry about everything. Okay, but just what I was focusing on at the moment. Okay, and then uh, also uh, the other thing that I would do is uh, when you are reading, pay attention. Okay, pay attention to how how they're they're forming everything together. Okay, because um, yes, I did learn uh, bits and pieces of grammar. Okay, uh, but most of what I did because I didn't have like I didn't I had a simple book. Okay, a simple book that taught me verbs. Okay, different conjugations. Right. Um, but I learned Spanish by reading, talking, failing, reading, talking, failing, reading, talking, failing, and it was a it was a daily thing. Okay, um, and so that's a, that's how I learned it. And so uh, learning uh, um, uh, learning the the the, the grammar word, rules, yes, they help, but you have to see how the, everything is is put together. So when you're reading, think of it not only as is working as on pronunciation. Okay, and maybe for understanding as well, but but try to also capture how they're putting the sentences together, and then copy it. 
Okay, copy how mm -hmm. how they how they put them together. Okay, copy phrases, copy you know ways of saying things. Okay, and uh, that try that method that might help you out. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. No problem. Let's go to Nurel. Um, oops. All right. <clears throat> okay. All right, Nurel, number nineteen, please. Okay. In the future, students may have the choice of studying at home by using technology such as computer or television or of studying at traditional schools. Which would you prefer? Use reasons and specific details to explain your choice. All right, 15 seconds to prepare. Okay, ready? What is my question? Uh, it's in the Google chat box. Oops, okay. Okay, um, I firmly believe that in the future students are going to learn at home because they can save money and time. If students uh, learn at home, they are definitely going to save time. I remember when I was a, ki a child and uh, spent one hour uh, to commute to school, to commute to and from school. So I would uh, have uh, gained this time if I studied home. Secondly, they will also save money. Uh, nowadays, computers have all the materials that we need to learn from. So this way they can save their parents money. Therefore, for these reasons, I believe that in the future, students are going to learn at home. Okay, give me one second. Okay. All right, nice job. Um, uh, good, good structure. You had your introduction, supporting statements, and a conclusion. Okay. Um, now uh, let's let's get to. Um, let's see here. I want to go back to the question just to verify one thing. Okay, yeah, that's uh, that's what I thought. So, <clears throat> uh, your the your question here was which one do you prefer? Okay, and uh, so yes, it, it was talking about students in the future what they might be able to do. Okay, but the main question is what would you want to do? Okay, which one, which uh, type of learning would you prefer? Okay, so your you you answered the wrong question here. But let's take a look at what you did say in uh, in this answer. Okay, so we'll we'll take a look at it and we'll modify it. Right. Um, so in in your question uh, or in your answer, it was pretty good based on the the other type of question. Now, one thing I want to look at is when you were talking about uh, going to school. Okay, and how and when you needed to commute. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. You said uh, I spend one hour to commute to school. Okay. To commute to and from school. Okay, that'd be fine. But with uh, with uh, spend, we want to use past tense. Okay, I spent. I spent. Yeah, okay. I believe and, I spent. Uh, okay. Yeah, and even even here, okay, um, since we are telling a story, we'd probably want to say I uh, I would spend. Okay, so uh, I remember when I was younger, or so, for example, when I was younger, I would spend one hour, okay, commuting to and from school. Okay, I would spend one hour commuting to and from school. Okay, you could you could say used to, but remember, in our rules here, whenever we get into storytelling mode, Okay, storytelling mode, you want to uh, usually start off with would. Okay, I, I, uh, uh, I would usually use would in this situation. Now, you can switch off, okay, but once you get into a storytelling mode, when I was a child, I would, 
okay? Uh, when uh, I remember when I uh, when I would okay do this that or the other okay, and then we used to okay you can switch off right? Um, yes. Uh, the next one here is. Um, you talked, uh, or you had said, if uh, now I would have saved a lot of time if I studied at home. Okay, here I would actually add if I had studied at home. Okay, because this is a uh, situation. Teacher. Um, yes. I say, I say, I would save this time if I studied home at home. Okay, it would, it would be I would have saved. Okay, I would have saved time if I had studied. Oh, conditional at, two, then. Uh, it would be... Uh, conditional th three. Three, yeah, conditional three. Three, not three. two, okay. I would um, have uh, saved would, time uh, if I had studied at home. Yes, yes. yes okay, yes, yes, because yes, it's a situation yes. in the past, in the okay, past. That, that, that you cannot change at all. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. So yeah, third. Okay. I would have studied. Uh, sorry, I would have saved time if I had studied at home. Yes. yes. I would have studied. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or if I would have. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the last one. I think I had one more. Give me one second. Let me check my notes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So in your conclusion. In your conclusion here, you said, therefore, for these reasons, okay? Uh, I, instead of saying for again, therefore, these are the reasons. Mm -hmm. Okay, therefore, these are the reasons why, and then whatever the reasons are. So instead of uh, uh, saying for twice, therefore, for these reasons, okay? Therefore, these are the reasons. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Great. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Um, Thank you, teacher. No problem. Let's go to Arif. Arif, are you there? Or is it uh, Arif? Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, Sarata. Yeah. All right. Sarata, let's have yeah. you do number 20, please. Your school has had enough money to purchase either computers for students or books for the library. Uh, which uh, which uh, you, your school choose to buy computers or books? Two specific reasons and examples to support your recommendation. Okay. Okay. 15 seconds to uh, prepare. Okay, ready? No. Yeah. Go ahead. I will. I, I really recommend uh, the school to buy computers for students because uh, I think it's uh, the more efficient efficient way to to be up to date in technology. Uh, uh, for example, when I uh, in my uh, university in Guinea, people are uh, our uh, students don't, don't have the uh, money to buy a computer and then uh, they don't know how to use technology and when they come, for example, in my case, when I came to study in Canada, it was the, the difficult thing for me because I was not up to date. That's the reason why I say computer. Okay, all right. Okay, much uh, much better this time. Much better this time. Okay, you gave you gave me a good uh, uh, a good reason. Okay, we had a little bit of an introduction and uh, and a conclusion. Okay, uh, now let me let me show you how to save a little bit more time, mm -hmm. especially on your introduction. Okay, um, 
So here our question is, uh, which should your, your school choose to buy, computers or books? Okay. So uh, here your school has enough money to purchase. So if, okay, uh, I, would, I would start off by saying if my scunny, my, my scunny, sorry, sorry, if my school had money to, to uh, purchase either computers or books, I would recommend computers. Okay. So if my school had money to buy either computers or books, okay, I would recommend computers. Okay. Um, now, uh, from there, so uh, before you said I will recommend, uh, I will recommend the school to buy uh, mm -hmm. computers because this, that, or the other, and technology. So is a little bit longer. So go straight to what they're asking about here, okay? And okay. if they're asking which would you do, okay, uh, then you're going to use a statement sort of like this: if and would, an if would statement, mm -hmm. okay? Um, now, uh, after that. Okay, you could say uh, the reason is because when I went to Canada, that's what I understood. You went to Canada and you felt like you were a little behind technology. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So, uh, so for example, when I went to uh, Canada, when I had the opportunity to go there and study, uh, I felt like I was a little behind the technology, and so I had to uh, learn some more things. Anyway, so that was a, that was a really good explanation. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. uh, I usually recommend at least two reasons, but it's okay if you have one. Okay, just as long as you are thoroughly explaining uh, why you support your answer. Okay. Now, at the end, when you get to your conclusion, okay, you would say that. Okay, because we only have one. That is the reason why I would recommend to my school to buy computers. Okay, or uh, I would recommend that my school buys computers. Okay. Does that does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want to go mm -hmm. sh directly directly there. Now I do want to um, I do want to practice the the word technology. Technology. Okay. Yeah. Instead of technology, it's technology. 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 Try that again. Technology. Good. Good. Just like that. All right. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Great. Um, let's go to Zaki. All right, Zaki, number 21, please. Some people enjoy change, but and they look forward to a new experience. Other like they leave to stay the same, and they do not change their usual habit. Compare Hello? this two approach to live life. I think this is my Okay, um, is that Af, Af, um, Arif, Arif, can you hear me? Are you? No, okay. Hello, right. I'm Sim. Yes, uh, Arif, we can hear you. Okay, um, all right, so she muted herself. Okay, so uh, do, you, do you want to read this question one more time, Zaki? Sorry. Okay. Some people enjoy change and they look forward to new experiences. Other like they need to stay the same and they do not change their usual habits. Compare these two approaches to life. What approach do you prefer? Explain why. Okay, all right. Now, okay, slow down a little bit. Okay, remember? Okay, uh, remember experiences as well. Give me good R's. Okay, as you were reading yeah. through this. Okay, uh, you weren't controlling your R, so control your R sound so you're easier to understand. Okay, all right, uh, 15 seconds to prepare. Okay, ready? Okay. Uh, I would. Uh, I would. I prefer to uh, to uh, to change new experiences because uh, because you you will get new knowledge about this what you have uh, in the in the future into the future and uh, and one more thing is 
if you continuously doing same thing you will get bored and uh, bored and so that's why I need a changes day by day uh, in, in the future so that's why I prefer to change and uh, to change some new experiences experience those are the results okay all right okay good so um, all right, much much better. Okay, so you're ending ending on time. Okay, uh, and you're structuring it around your introduction. Okay, into uh, one reason and then your conclusion. Okay, which is which is good. Okay, now let's practice the word experiences. Okay, force the tongue down on that R instead of expediences. Exper experiences. Experiences. Okay, almost. So let's try half of this word. We're going to say expir. Expir. Just go to that R. Expir. Okay. Uh, almost, almost. All right. So let's try this. I want you to say ear. 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 Good. Ear. Okay. One, one more time. Ear. Ear. Good. Ear. Okay. All right. Now we're going to say Eerians, nice and slow. Eerians. Okay, one more time. Uh, push your tongue down on that R. Ear, Eerians. Eerian. Uh huh. Okay, e you're. Eerians. Uh, almost, almost. Okay, this will be a good word for you to practice, Aki. This is a great one to uh, to write down. Okay, uh, focusing on getting uh, uh, the the vowel on on either side. Okay, uh, making okay. sure that that doesn't uh, um, force your tongue up. Okay, to hit to, to hit the top of your mouth when you're pronouncing that yes. R. Okay, so this is a, this is a really good one. Okay, now the next uh, next thing here. Okay, uh, because you will get new knowledge. Okay, instead of getting new knowledge. Okay, uh, we would say uh, you will learn new things. Okay. Okay, uh, you'll learn new things. That'll probably be the best way to say that instead of get new knowledge. Learn new things. Okay. okay. And uh, let's see. Okay, now uh, there is one phrase, and I wasn't exactly sure if that's what you had said. Um, I think it's pretty close, but I'm uh, I can't be too sure. So you said okay, um, if you continuously are doing the same thing, you will okay. get bored. Yeah, you will get bored. Okay, so yeah, you use the word continuously. So instead of saying um, if you if you continuously are doing the same thing, okay, uh, you would say if you continuously do the same thing. Okay. Okay. Do the same thing. Okay. If you continuously do the same thing, or if you continue to do the same thing. Okay. Okay, if you continue to do the same thing, okay. So yeah, look at uh, look at the um, look at that sentence and how uh, how it can be laid out uh, with the grammar. If you continue to do the same thing, or uh, if you continuously do the same thing, okay. All right, very good, nice job, thank you. Um, and let's see, uh, Ida, you you wrote a, a question here. Uh, call, answer. Can you please send? That? Yeah, she she didn't answer. I was trying. Yes. She keeps uh, chiming in. Yes, I. But yeah, it, it, I don't think she don't can she can hear us. It. What's that? Yeah, I, I am saying don't worry about it. That's okay. Ah, That's okay. It. All right, good. Yeah, I, I, I kept uh, throughout the class. I've been trying to get a hold of her, but I, I couldn't. So, okay, you guys. Uh, well, thank you, thank you for coming into thank class. It was, uh, it was great you. having you here. Uh, yeah, please take a look at those uh, suggestions. Okay, work on them, and we'll be back on Friday. Yeah, so Friday, Friday. we'll be doing uh, some more uh, TOEFL practices. Okay. Uh, good. Good. Thank you. Bye. Hello. Yeah. Bye. 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 All right. We'll see you. Bye. 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 B